Let us begin with some roster shots of the equipment utilized during this 30-year period on the San Francisco Peninsula. The core of SP's motive power was 11 GP9s, 10 STP45s, which replaced the Fairbanks Morris Trainmasters in 1974, 3 GP40P-2s, and 2 SD9s for a total of 26 locomotives. The passenger coaches consisted of the majority of the 75 suburban coaches built in 1924 and 46 bi-level gallery cars delivered in three groups starting in 1955 and in 1957 and 68. With the delivery of the last new bi-levels, all of the remaining 60-foot Harriman coaches were retired along with some of the suburban coaches. The SP equipment was gradually replaced starting in 1985 with the arrival of the new Caltrans equipment. The suburban coaches were retired and sold, and the bi-levels were transferred to Caltrans. The SP locomotives made a brief reappearance due to problems with the new F40PH-2's brakes. 20 F40PH-2's replaced the SP locomotives in 1985 and three more were added in 1999. From 2002 to 2005, six MP36PH-2Cs were purchased. Let's watch the commute trains as we take a trip down the peninsula from San Francisco stopping at some of the stations on the way to San Jose. These are the first four pieces of Caltrans equipment delivered and were placed on display in the city. An SP-2472 excursion finishes at 4th and Townsend in 2002. The heart of the commute fleet passes, starting with train 122 and ending with 138. When Caltrans assumed control, they changed the train numbers to two digits in 1982.
1993, the Great Separation construction began in San Carlos. Today, the San Carlos station is no longer at track level. A shoe fly was built in order to raise the track level. A stormy day in 1978 brought a eucalyptus tree down on the tracks near the bridge over San Francisco Creek.
1982, when Caltrans assumed operations, they painted one locomotive and three cars in what was to be the new paint scheme. They were the only four pieces of equipment ever painted like this. The SP was power short in 1978 and needed the commute locomotives for freight service. They leased 15 P30CHs from Amtrak to replace them from July 1978 to March 1979. It's not efficient to let locomotives sit around doing nothing on the weekends, so the SP sent some of the fleet out in freight surface to places like Roseville and Watsonville Junction. They had to be back late Sunday night for the commute rush Monday morning. Sometimes they would move light engines to Roseville Friday evening, and they could always be found on the RV SJA over Altamont on Saturday and Sunday. On June 12, 1985, SP-3201 departed San Francisco with Train 60 and the last five suburban coaches to run on a regularly scheduled commute train. On June 15, there would be an all-day two-round-trip excursion commemorating the end of their service. The suburban coaches were fought over by tourist and excursion operators upon retirement. Needless to say, most are still running somewhere or are waiting to be restored. Some have joined the group that was sold in the 60s along with the 60-foot Harriman coaches. Some of the bi-levels have been converted to other uses. The commute locomotives continued on in freight service. Some found their way into private hands and the rest went to short lines or were eventually scrapped.
This is a fiber optic train at San Carlos burying cable along the right of way. And now 3187 has lost its light package. After the credits, there are links to other related San Francisco Peninsula videos.